Today in its 2009 Dodge Grand Caravan, we're going to show you the best wiring options available. This is pretty easy. We have two options here. We have one from Takancha and one from Kurt. Let's go ahead and cover the differences between the two pieces we got here. First off, let's look at the Takancha. The, run, uh, the turn signal circuit, the green and yellow wires, are going to be rated for 4.2 amps per circuit, which means you can have like two light bulbs on each side of the trailer. Most of the time you only have one, but there's extra capacity there. Compared to our Kurt unit here, which is going to have three amps per circuit. So this is better for trailers that have like one tail light on each side for stop lights. Now on the running light side, which is our brown wire here, the Tecancha is going to be rated for 7.5 amps, which means you can have a lot of lights. So if you have incandescent lights, you can have like four, maybe six lights all over the trailer. Uh, compared to our Kurt here, which is going to be slightly less, which can be at six amps. And again, if you use uh, LED lights, you're going to have a lot more capacity when you use those with these wire harnesses. On the physical side of things, we'll take a look at the boxes here. This is our Kurt unit, and this is our Takanchi unit. Uh, you can see there's a pretty good difference between them. This can help when installing the units. It depends on where you mount these at and how much room you have. You may, if you're put in a tight spot, you want to use this one. If you're going to put it uh, in an easier reach spot, usually behind a taillight on the passenger side, both of these will fit just fine. But if you run this on the inside, if you want to do something special, uh, this may take up more room. On the installation side of things, they're going to be similar, but there are still some differences with that as well. They're both going to have a fuse holder here and here. Uh, they're also going to have the butt connectors, but the major difference is going to be right there. Our butt connectors on the Kurt are going to be the uh, regular style, uh, crimp style connectors and tape them up to help protect them. Uh, not as great as ones that come with the Contra product because a lot of these connections you'll make outside of the vehicle. So you want to use these guys to crimp the wires down and then use a, a heat source to help heat shrink all these connectors so it makes a watertight connection. One of the minor little detail you probably won't notice until you actually start putting everything together on your van. However, this has got the standard array of, of zip ties right here. On the Takancha side, you notice we got a lot more variety. They're a lot longer and I think better quality zip ties with this. And plus a really long one uh, if you need to wrap around something odd to hold the wires up. One thing I like about the Kurt side of things is that comparing these wire harnesses, which is our power supply going up to the battery, which they both use, uh, if you take a look at them, the, the insulation on the Kurt seems a little bit heavier than what's on the Takancha. I've used these for years, so this is fine, uh, but if you really like a heavy duty application, or, then I think this stuff, this wire here is really nice to work with. Let's cover some of the similarities now between our two units. This is going to be pretty easy. They both have, cap, starting off the four poles, they both have caps that go onto it. Another similarity is that they both plug in behind your taillights. You disconnect behind your taillight and these basically T in between. So they both have separate grounds, so you do have to attach this to the sheet metal on the vehicle, so you no know getting away from that. Uh, and then also, the boxes, you know, look on the inside, right here and here, they have the potting material. Kurt didn't used to have that. This seems to be a better setup, so now both brands have it. Uh, so this will make this a lot durable unit than it used to be. Now, also a similarity, they both have a very high quality fuse holder uh, from the manufacturer, so you can't go wrong either on either side there. Okay. And the last bit is that both of these wire harnesses will, uh, are designed to work uh, with your car and your trailer by using the battery power that sends power to the unit and then it copies the signal from the vehicle out to your trailer. So if your trailer has any problems with it as a short, um, the box will uh, turn off the circuit and that way it protects your vehicle so you don't blow a fuse. Nowadays with these two units, you really can't go wrong uh, with whatever one you go with. Uh, however, I tend to stick with the Takancha brand. I've used it. It's been a proven track record. I really like it and I understand, you know, I kind of like how they just put everything fit and finish on these products compared to the Kurt. And that'll do it for the best wiring harnesses for this Dodge Grand Caravan.